Hey y'all, this is Geek Girl coming at you with more movie reviews. This is Batman and Robin. Uh, while Chris O'Donnell takes up uh, uh, Robin again, we have a whole new cast of characters besides that. Because, in my opinion, there can be no other Robin besides Chris O'Donnell. You will not judge me. Shh. Now, they have a new Batman. And for the simple fact that I love this actor, and he is hot as hell. Yes, I cussed. No, I'm not sorry about it. Because it had to be said. Freaking George Clooney as Batman. Who does not want to see George Clooney in a rubber suit? Who? Who? Straight guys are even like, good lord, come on, man. I mean, it is just awesome and as far as him acting as batman oh yeah he is batman just as much as the rest of them they th I, that's what i love about these three men uh freaking michael keaton val kilmer and george clooney when they got the roles of batman they took it very seriously now that being said george clooney and val kilmer never played him again but michael keaton's already played him twice so you tell me who the bigger Batman is. No offense, guys. I love you both. I do. I love you. I love you. I love you so much. But Michael Keaton is Batman. Okay, I'm done with that. I promise. For now. I'll probably say it again in a minute, but oh well. Now, they have Poison Ivy. Uma Thurman. Holy crap. She's hot as Poison Ivy. And she just nails that character for me. She really does. And freaking Alfred's niece, Al Alicia Silverstone, is Batgirl. I mean, how perfect is that? I mean, I can't remember from the comic books. I haven't read them so, so long. That may actually be true. And because they tend to follow along pretty flippin' well. But that's freaking awesome, in my opinion. And then, and then, Mr. Freeze. Are you kidding me? Arnold Schwarzenegger, come on! Oh my god, Mr. Universe, are you serious? That is amazing! Just his accent alone made the entire character awesome. But, and then his acting. A lot of people don't like his acting. My mother being one of them. And I cannot phantom why. I don't understand. Everybody's like, well, not everybody, but there's a select amount of people that, like, oh, he can't act because you can tell he's acting. Well, first of all, duh, that's most people. Second off, if you're good enough at your job, it doesn't matter. And Arnold's been great in everything he's ever been in, as far as my opinion goes. May not amount to a hill of beans, but there we are. I love Arnold Schwarzenegger. I really do. I do. I, I, I thought it was the funniest crap and most amazing crap that ever happened when he became governor of California. That just amazed me and I thought it was hilarious and great. And you know what? He did great. I think he did great. And I thought it was even funnier that even though he was still the governor, he still took the time to do cameos. That just made me adore him even more. But that's beside the point. I have been pointing a lot. Y'all can't see it, but I've been pointing a lot. <laughs> but anywho, um, yeah, great movie. Great movie. And and this one kind of hits a little closer to home because now it's about Alfred being sick and come to find out he's got the same rare disease that uh, Mr. Freeze's wife had. And yeah, it, it's just all crazy. And then Batgirl's all ticked off because nobody really cares about her uncle, but they actually do, and they're both doing everything they can to fix it. And of course, Chris O'Donnell's wonderful at everything he does. Freaking Robin, straight up. Anyway. <laughs> but, alright, y'all let me know what you think about it down in the comments. Let me know if there's anything else y'all want me to review. Give me a like, give me a subscribe, and we will see y'all later.